Hey guys, it's Rye bringing you the intermediate guide number three. In this video, we're going to be talking about post uni build priorities. I think a lot of people, you know, they'll watch my videos, they'll feel confident, uh, they'll test it out, maybe they'll practice their sim a good bit, they'll feel really good, and then once they get after unis, they're really confused. And that's totally fine, and I completely understand that. That's why I'm kind of putting this in the intermediate guide, but I do think a lot of these concepts and what I'm going to be talking about is something that is a very big mistake with even more experienced players and people that play in multiplayer lobbies pretty consistently. Um, so if you are not a new player, I think there could still be value to this video, but this is going to be geared more towards the people that are kind of breaking out of that introductory period. And you've, you've graduated from the tutorial. You got a couple hundred hours in or got like a hundred hours in or whatever. Let's get on to like how to transition to a, into a real mid game, put yourself in a position and let's talk about what buildings you want to build to do that. Um, you know, we just had our first beginner lobby, uh, all beginner players, people who haven't played NQ yet. Maybe they were trying to get into multiplayer, but we're a little nervous or whatever the reason is. Um, I think it was so much fun. Everyone did really, really well. Uh, it was really great to see everyone play that video got uploaded um, today, the 17th of April. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. But if you'd like to participate in the next one, uh, I made a video or I made a discord where we're going to be talking about where we talk about all different types of stuff. Like I answer questions. Um, you know, if you, we're going to try to host EU and NA lobbies separately, but um, if this is something that interests you, well, let me know. There'll be a, what the fuck did I just do? There'll be a description on uh, in the de there'll be a link in the description for this Discord. So if you're interested in that, uh, click the link. Um, and then yeah, so let's just jump right in. Let's talk about this. All right, so this should look very familiar, right? Everyone, you know, one thing I've seen new players kind of mess is do they don't tech sailing early enough? Sailing should come before writing in most of the, most cases, um, unless you're rushing philosophy or something, but. Even if you are sailing is just so important. The trade route is instrumental to your early game development. Okay. Anyway, so my tangent is over. So we just tech universities. This is what it looks like. We have workshops, you know, we have our workshops done. We have education tech. We're building our unis. Where do we go from here? Right. Do I go to acoustics? Do I go steel? Like what am I doing? Well, the most important tech after this is definitely going to be guilds, right? Guilds allows us to build one of the best wonders in the game, or one of one of the best buildings in the game, the Artist Guild. Debatably, the best building in the entire game. A great artist is so important to your scaling, to how you can effectively um, create advantages and hold advantages in the game. Um, so we need to get this artist guild cranking away. Additionally, Machu is very, very strong. Wonder uh, breweries are very, very good, especially if our regional is a brewery lux. You know, we're going to be printing money. Um, this is such an important building, and I, I think this is a general thing for a lot of new players, or you know, people not familiar with Lekmod in general. Um, there's a lot of new buildings added. If you look, you know, just across the thing, there's like a couple more buildings. A lot of them are found in these eras specifically. Right. And these are all our regional specific buildings, right? Breweries, grocers, um, textile mills, gem cutters, uh, sensory maker, sensory makers, right? Like these are all really, really strong buildings. Some of them are better than others. So I'm going to talk about that here. Breweries are very, very good. Um, think of it kind of like a mint, right? You want to build mints. You want to build markets. Okay. Like if you have brewery lux, this is your mint. Right? It's, it's how you can really, really maintain a high amount of gold in all your cities. Following this, you know, our tech, these three lux, uh, techs don't really matter. Um, usually we want to go ironworks because ironworks pays itself off very quickly. Usually it's around 150 ish hammers, and with modifiers, you know, eight base hammers is going to pay that off very, very quickly. So it's a very efficient one, uh, natural wonder. A lot of people don't prioritize it enough. And then also on the same tech, if we have a gem, Gem cutters are great. These are better amphitheaters, right? And amphitheaters are, in my opinion, very underrated, but they're, they're very strong buildings. It's how you keep your culture scaling, right? And gem cutters are additional culture, so it's, it's very strong. Following this, you know, it doesn't really matter. We can tech either one. If we're contesting a lot, uh, a, a wonder, obviously we go guilds into, into chivalry. If we're going Noter, maybe we just go straight to Noter. Um, but most of the time, my tech path looks something like this. You know, 
the three and four don't matter. But the reason we're attacking three and four in the first place is so that we can hit five. Printing is such an important tech. Um, it's the opener to already cav. It's also the opener to industrial. Um, so having printing done gives you optionality to head to the gunpowder. It also has you, lets you head to industrial. So I think a very standard tech path is going around this place. Okay. So following printing, you know, what are we looking for on printing? Well, zoos, obviously, if we're playing honor, we're playing liberty, we're probably going to have happiness problems. So zoos are what we allowed to do that. Additionally, leaning towers, very, very strong wonder. Um, you know, if you saw our wonder tier list, you, you would have seen how highly we ranked that. It's also it, the main reason it's so strong is because it's on the main tech line. All right. So following that, we have banks, economics, and industrial. And I, I don't want to gloss over these. I think this is where a lot of the problems lie. So I think a lot of new players are prioritizing banks a little too highly. Banks are something that are nice. Banks are something you obviously you want to in any high gold dense cities, right? If you're playing commerce, you know, build your fucking banks. But in general, you know, if you're playing Liberty, maybe you don't, you don't need to go banks in every city. It's not that important. Your, your gold is going to be good um, because of other things, not necessarily just banks. The main, I, I think the number one most underrated building in the entire game is the textile mill. This is probably the best building in, one of the best buildings in the entire game. 67 hammers for three, a guaranteed at least three hammers. Incredible. Dis, like Truly like disgusting amount of yield just you get from this building. Um, and yet... Oftentimes, we'll see, like, no one build it. It doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, so, text them. Well, now, and then, you know, very, right next to it, one of the most overrated buildings is the windmill. The windmill is so bad. It, bear, it, it takes so long to pay for itself. It's 167 hammers, right? We are getting more base hammers from a textile mill than a windmill. The 10% when constructing buildings is fine. It's it's okay, for sure. But I, I, I'd say it, it's very rarely better. to. It, it's very rare that you're going to build windmills in any game. The only time I could justify it is if you're playing really, really good tradition and you might go urbanization or something where you want to get your windmills up. Or you're, obviously, if you're Mexico, it's different. But, you know, in, generally, general, yeah, in general, windmills are not worth anything. Grocers, also pretty bad. Um, you know, one base food is not the same as one hammer. And then we're only getting one food from these resources compared to the two hammers we're getting from these, right? Um, much, much worse building. Most of the time, grocers are not worth building. All right, so kind of answers all of these. We're following main tech line. This is main tech path. Factories, build your factories instantly. No ifs, ands, or buts. This should be like... Once you tech it, you should build it. I guess the only exception is if your order, you just got fact, you're waiting for factory science to build it. But even in that case, man, just fucking build your factories. It's just not worth it. They're, they're, they're so efficient. It's four base hammers, 10% production in every single city, and the ideology. It's just, uh, it's so good. Okay, anyway. So now we're going to get to acoustics because next one we do is schools usually. Um, after acoustics, I... If you're having a good game on Liberty, I would say build your opera houses. A lot of people, some really strong players, do not build opera houses at all. So you don't need them. But I, I think in general, opera houses are worth considering. Not building them every game, not building them in every city. On tradition, you build them everywhere because you want your hermitage. And hermitage is a ton of culture. On a tradition cap, on a Liberty cap, it's really not worth it building almost ever. Um... You know, Musicians Guild is not worth it, in my opinion. I don't remember the last time I built this thing. Even on Tradition, I I really don't build it much. Maybe that's wrong, but personally, I just feel like the yields you're getting from a musician is not super important. If you're aesthetics, you absolutely do not build this, one, this thing until the very end of the game. I'll have a video on how to win aesthetics soon, but hopefully. Um, but yeah. Don't build a musician's guild. You wait until you're about to spawn a musician that you're going to bulb into someone. You don't turn these into great works. Um, okay, then we have we have Taj and Pork, two of the best wonders in the game. Um, we we spoke excessively about this in our wonder video. If you're curious about that, you know. 
Schools, in my opinion, are so bad. I fucking hate schools. You know, the the amount of the amount of science you get is not worth going all the way to acoustics or, you know, it's, it, it's really not that important in most of the time. Like most of the time you build your school is, and you're up a hundred ish, 150 max science total. That's just, uh, it, it, it can be good. It can be good when your pops really, really high, but for the most part, it's, it's not that strong. Like on a normal Liberty game, this is so unimpactful. The only reason you're building this is for the scientist slot and schools. I, I, I don't know what it is, but Every time you build schools, you always forget to work the slots. Like, I, it happens to me all the fucking time. It happens to a lot of my friends all the time. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, so this is this is a this is a very vital point. Once we tech schools, we determine we have to make a decision. What are we doing for the rest of the game? Frankly, you should be making that decision around turn sixty. But turn usually you're going to get schools around like turn one hundred five or something. If you're having a fairly slowish game or like fairly stock standard game, you're going to get schools like 105. So after this, this is where we decide how we want to play the game, right? Um, you know, so, and and some people like I'm a big fan of doing a build like like this into chem into schools because I value the mines because I work a lot of mines. Um, but you know, this works too. Okay, so wh what are we doing? Well, if we're freedom. We're just going to go electricity replaceable. Um, electricity replaceable. Like that, that's because we want to get statue. But let's say we're not freedom. Um, what, what do we do? Okay. Well, what we can do is I think you always need to go gunpowder next. Armories are very important because the reality is once you have schools, a lot, almost all of, like, there's not, first of all, there's not many buildings left, right? If we look at them, there's observatories, um, museums, uh, hydro plants, stock exchanges, broadcast towers, hotels, hospitals, stadiums, uh, medical labs. I mean, you see my point here, right? There's not a lot of buildings, you know? Um, so what do you do, right? Like there's not a lot of buildings. What do I click? If you get past turn 120 and you're not only building units, something has probably gone wrong. So typically you have two main tech paths. You go, in my opinion, you always go chem. Like this is like how I would always play almost every single game, unless I'm doing something more aggressive where I'm going artillery first or something. But you go scientific theory, you build your, your armories and you always go chem because you want the sim benefit of the mines following that you know we can go to labs if we're going labs we go electricity and then steam power replaceable plastics the reason we do this is because replaceables are very important defensive tech with GWs. Um we want to prioritize you know i see a lot of people build hydro plants this building almost always sucks okay it's 200 it's 300 hammers and most of the time you're building it you're getting like five or six hammers from it right just like okay I, i'm no math major but i know some math majors and they're all bad at math so if we take like 281 and we divide it by like let's 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 say highball let's say eight tiles it's 35 turns i know it's bait these are base hammers so it, it'll eventually pay off the game is gonna end by then man like the game's already fucking over like this doesn't matter like this is not gonna it's not efficient to build this like almost ever um so in my opinion like electricity is like a bait tech i do think those stock exchanges are broken like th these things are very very important when you're playing commerce um the two merchant slots is is crucial to spawn additional merchants as you scale into the late game but it's mostly obviously the 25 percent base gold is is huge right it's the same thing as a bank you know, we're just getting more banks here and the three plus base gold is super super important when we're talking about trade routes so you know i i think stock exchanges can be very good and that's how you fix your gold problems in the late game but hydro plants are so bad do not build these things obviously you don't build police stations you don't build constabularies those things are those things honest they actually do fucking nothing unless you're autocracy they don't do anything um 
So this is like the normal tech path for labs, but you know, labs is for fucking bitches. So we don't go labs. So what do you do after this? So we, we always go cam, like I said, you know, this is, this is an interesting point, right? If we're going to go land ships, the question becomes, are we building, are we autocracy? First of all, if we're autocracy, we we're likely going to be building a military academy. So going straight to military science is important just to get our military academies up. That way, once we get something like, you know, total war, um, we get 15% extra, 15 plus extra XP. And okay, why does that matter? Well, if we add up the barrack, so that's 15, right? That's 15. And we add up an armory, okay. An armory is 15 as well, right? 15% XP at the bottom, yep. Okay, so that's 30, that's two promotions. You need 30 XP to get to the third, uh, to get two promos. So you can stop there if you're order. There's no reason to go more than that if you're order or freedom. But if you have Brandenburg, Brandenburg's also plus 15, okay? And then you have Military Academy, that's plus 15. Or instead of Brandenburg, you have Total War, and that's plus 15. So now we're at 60, and 60 is the break point for three promos. And three promos is where things get spicy. That's where you can get charge. Um, that's where you can get uh, double ambush. Um, that's where you can get medic two. Very important. That's where you can get triple promoted um, bombers, which is, <laughs> you know, that's 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 how you get to air repair, right? So military science is really important to tech early on if we're um, if we're going autocracy. Or we have Brandenburg in one city. Or if we want to contest Brandenburg, right? If we're not, and maybe we're order, pretty much it's always fertilizer and then it's right to railroad uh, to contest Kremlin. But let's say, you know, we're, let's say we're, you know, we're just doing this for the sim. I think you get a lot of food from fertilizer. It's just generally like pretty good. After this, maybe we don't need military academies for whatever reason. You want to go to biology. Like oil is a very good sim tech and it's, you know, oil refineries are, I said this before last time, but these are actually in content. Them and textile mills are like in contention for two of the best buildings in the whole game. So building these buildings are very, very good, especially if you get them at, a, at the correct time. Um, I don't think observatories are usually worth it unless you're in Tundra. Uh, seaports are great if you're, coastal but otherwise obviously don't build them harbors are useless unless you're coastals um uh and then okay so i see this a lot too so this is uh, a museum this is the yugoslavia museum um but 10 percent culture for 200 hammers this is good if it's in your cap if it's not in your cap don't fucking build it i see a lot of people building shit like broadcast towers or not Eiffel, broadcast towers and museums in all of their expands no no, no, no. You do this if you're aesthetics. If you're not aesthetics, don't fucking do it. Just wrong. Okay. Um, so let's say we're going land ships, right? Normal tech path here. Um, you know, I, I think in general, most of the time, you're going to find yourself like you know, going here, here, maybe for uh, into bio, steam power, dynamite, railroad, and then we Oxford combustion. Like this is the normal tech path. Um. Most of the time, like like I said, if you're not pumping units by the time people have already, which is usually around like post post schools, none of the buildings really matter. Um, none of the sim buildings are that good except for like a medical lab, but medical labs kind of suck because you have to build a useless building like a fucking hospital, right? So, and it's also, it's not an important tech electronics, but you know, in general, like labs, labs are the exception. Labs are actually a good building. Um, but building them sucks because they're so expensive and they're out of the way. And when people see you're in labs, they're going to go kill you. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is like normal land ship tech path, I'd say. You know, usually it's around 120 with Oxford. Um, anything before that's just is just strong. You know, people build air, airports because they have nothing to build. Hey, hey, build some fucking units, bro. Like, hello? Th these buildings are shit. They don't do anything. Solar plants? Like, what the fuck? Like, no. Um, if I see anyone, anyone, all right, when we play these, like, new player lobbies, if I see anyone fucking build a goddamn nuclear plant, I'm going to kick you from the game. Um, But, yeah, I, I hope this, like, kind of gives some color to what... 
you should be thinking about. Realistically, when you're getting this late into the game, people are going to be trying to kill each other, and your best bet is to either kill them or protect yourself. Building a hospital is not doing accomplishing either of those things, right? Um, so most of the time, you're just going to be wanting to pump units. You're going to be wanting to be proactive. You're going to be wanting to think about how you can actually win the game rather than, oh, well, my numbers are going up a little bit, but... You know, the reality is after this point, you know, after, especially after labs, like no building is going to pay for itself. Labs is the only one that will after that point. So I don't know. I, I think in most, most cases, like just, just, you should be building units almost exclusively. Um, and, and you know, trying to either defend yourself or whatever, because realistically, whatever you build is probably not going to be enough. So better to have a lot to make them less likely to attack you, especially if you're a new player and you're pushing like Diplo or something like just be building units. You shouldn't like I don't know, your, your fifth expand does not need a stock exchange um, when it's making 10 gold, you know, like <laughs> it's so useless. Um, so I, I hope this is helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. Again, join the Discord uh, if you're interested in playing games. So, yeah, um, that's all I've got. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.